Greetings all, the Devious Monkey here today with another project. After I was playing around last night with my new little extendy arm thingamajigger to kind of do overhead shots, the way that I have it clamped to that TV tray type stand that I have sitting in front of me off camera, it's too flimsy. The arm itself is too flimsy and it's a lot smaller than I was expecting. And then if I connect it to that, that flimsy tray, it's just not enough. So today, my project is to build a contraption to allow me to use that and having some sturdiness to it. But I did just go to Home Depot and I bought uh, some plywood, two by fours, and a bunch of brackets to try to connect all that shit together. I have it in my head what I wanna do. I've got the parts to do what's in my head, but we'll see if that actually makes it to the final setup and everything. So I also found my little fairy lights. I guess that's what you call them. I bought those a long time ago, I think maybe in Target, and I had them sort of strung just randomly on my wall in one of the many iterations of my studio and ended up taking them down. And I wrapped them up and I put them away and I put them away so well that I forgot where the hell they were. But I did find them the other day when I was looking for a thousand other things and I left them out so that I couldn't help but see it. So today I put them up about four different times and I just, because the wire is so teeny, I basically just scotch taped it to the bookshelves or you know, like to the shelving that's around behind me. The first time I did it, I didn't realize stupidly that I had put most of them out of camera sight. So I had to cut them down again. Basically, I, I think I did it a total of three times. They're in enough of the, the picture that you can see them. So they sort of, I guess they accent whatever the hell's behind me. You tell me, you tell me if it looks stupid or not, but they're up there. And even if they do look stupid, they're not coming down because it took me so long to put them up. So they're gonna stay up for a while until I get sick of them and I completely change the entire studio again. In the meantime though, I'm on my way to Three Ships Coffee. Uh, they got a bunch of, I guess, everybody's starting their Valentine's Day specials early. So they got a bunch of cherry stuff that, that my wife is intrigued by. So I'm gonna get that then I'm going to go home and I'm gonna start building this thing. And I'm going to probably time-lapse me building this contraption. So, without further ado, time-lapse. That was a little bit more involved than I expected it to be, but I still got it done. And I think it's, well, it's better than it was before. It's still not perfect. That piece of wood sticks up too high and needs a, another brace, I would imagine. But I don't have anything like that right now and I'm just too damn tired to deal with it. But here's what I got. So as you can see, here's the corner. And first thing you can see is the fairy lights that I found that I put up there but this is the contraption that I built. So I basically just got a piece of plywood and I bolted or sort of bracketed this down here in three spots. And then I bracketed and braced this two by four down here. And then I did this 
which if I move around it, you can see I put a brace on the top and one on the bottom. And that's what this flimsy arm connects to, which you can see I have the ZV-1 on. So now when I'm sitting here, I can move the ZV-1, which is now on that thing, which is on this. Now, if I tap this, I mean, it still vibrates it a little bit, but before when this was connected to this, you can imagine, I mean, how much that was moving. So if I've got my feet down here like this, you know, it's not moving it as much. It's really hard to get this thing set to look down here. And I would imagine if I'm actually doing an unboxing and not just trying to check it with my iPad, it will be up a lot higher, but I'll have to test that. And the reason that it took so much longer is because I knew my feet were gonna be on this thing. So I sanded everything, every corner, every edge, every surface of that thing and of this two by four is sanded down so that I can run my feet, hands, whatever over it and I do not catch and get splinters. Okay, so that's it. That's all I've got for you today. It took me a while to do this, but I did it and I've been meaning to do it. So I did it and it's done. Now all I have to do is go out and get milk because I forgot I finished it last night. You know, I have to go to the damn grocery store every day. So I'm gonna head out and do that. But for now, that's all I've got for you. As always, thanks for joining me. Like, subscribe and all that shit. And remember kids, forward and up.